Hello, welcome to my channel Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to show you how to make these lovely puff pastries with apple inside. And as you can see from here, I've done one which is um, kind of a special rose shape. So I'll show you how to do that. And I'll show you how to put the cream inside as well. So enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe. So I've got two apples in here. You don't have to put sugar in. Um, some people like loads of sugar. I just personally put a tablespoon of sugar in. You can put two or three if you want, if you like lots of sugar. And now I'm going to boil this for about 10 minutes. Okay, so here is the apples. They've been boiling for 10 minutes. So I'm just going to get a sieve and pour the water into the sieve. So we'll discard the water and then we'll just put the apples back into the pot. And then you can keep them like that or I like to mush them with a potato masher. And again, you're still going to have a little bit more water now you've mushed it. So give it another drain because you don't want it too watery. And then you want to let this cool for a few minutes. So we have some puff pastry. It just comes in a, a box like this. And you simply take it out of the box and unroll it. Of course, you can make your own, but it's just so much easier to get a shop bought one. Puff pastry can be very time consuming to make. So I'm just going to cut this in half. So you're best to just put a little bit of flour on your worktop just so that the pastry doesn't stick. We're going to cut this in half again and then we'll cut this in half again. Now because this doesn't have any sugar in the puff pastry what you could do is just glaze it slightly with some egg or some milk and you get a small amount of sugar and you just knock the sugar onto the pastry and then you can always get your hand and just rub it in and that just gives it a little bit of a sweet flavour. Okay so what you want to do is just put a little bit of the stewed apple slightly to one side so make sure you've got plenty of egg on the outside or milk and then you just fold this over corner to corner it doesn't have to be perfect shape and then you simply just get a fork to squash down to give it a pattern and also to make sure that this is sealed properly and then you get a knife and you just make a couple of holes and this is a small apple turnover before it's cooked so now we're just going to place this into a baking sheet and i've just got some parchment paper underneath to stop it sticking now i'm going to make a different shape so it's a bit like a, a sausage roll shape you put a little bit in like that again make sure you've got plenty of egg or milk on the edges make sure you have a little bit of a space at the edge and then you simply pull this over and then you're going to the edges are going to be sealed and again we'll use the fork to decorate and to make sure it's sealed properly so you can mess around with the different shapes that you want and again a couple of holes to make sure that the air can come out and it looks nice as well. Place that into your baking sheet. So now we're going to do something slightly different. So we're going to keep the skins on and we're not going to cook this apple. And this gives it a completely different texture but really nice. So you're going to cut it into quarters. Take out this middle section with the pips. And then you're going to cut thin slices. And again we're going to put some egg. That helps the sugar stick to the pastry. And again you don't have to do this. But it is nice to give it that little sweet flavour. And then I'm just going to put a bit of sugar on to give it that sweet flavour. And then we're going to place the apples along like this. Yeah, and It doesn't matter if it's sticking out over the edge a little bit. And all you're going to do is roll this over. And then if you just make sure that there's a seal, enough for a seal either end. And then you can roll this. And you get this nice rose effect. So you can just make sure that this bit is sealed at the end by just giving this a little bit of a, an egg wash. I might actually just take a, one of the apples out here because it's quite full. And that will just help me bend this around. To keep it shaped, just put a butcher string around it. All right, so we're going to have some sliced apples again. So you want enough room for a little bit of the edge without the apples touching. And then what you want to do is you're going to bring this over and have a seal. So now I want you to cut here and that gives you your size that you need. So let's take these apples off for a minute. And we're going to do our egg wash. And a little bit of sugar. 
and you're going to put your slices of apple like this and you can put them slightly on top of each other so you can get more in there make it lovely filling inside and then you bring this over and with your fork you seal the edges then put some holes in this and we're going to put it inside our dish Right, so we're going to put some stewed apple into the middle here. We don't want too much of this. So what you want to do is you want to do little slits. The same on the other side. It's just a good way of having fun. And of course, you can do this with the kids as well. Or just do it as yourself and be a big kid. As adults, we deserve that. It's important we have fun in our life. Okay, so what I want you to do is you, you get one, one section and you kind of fold it over diagonal like, like that. Then you get the other one and you fold it diagonal. Then you get the other one and you fold it diagonal. And so on. What I did forget is to make sure that you put your egg wash on the edges. This helps it stick. So you carry on like this, pulling this over. And it should just give you a pattern on your pastry. Now I've done a very thin one here, I've just realised. But you can do whatever thickness you like with it play about with it and have a bit of fun that's the main thing have some fun and if you do put too much apple in it just means that this might burst open when it's cooking but that doesn't matter it's probably a bit easier if you make a bigger one and again you can make these little strips thin or you can make them double this size and make them thicker you know play about with it it's a very long thin one and what i'm going to do is just put an egg wash on all of these and then you can sprinkle a bit of sugar on this as well. Now we're going to put these in the oven, 180 degrees for about 15 minutes. And I'll show you what they look like when they come out. So I'm going to show you how to put the cream inside here. So as you can see, I've got some cream in here. So we're going to get a piping bag and we're going to cut. And a tip is that you get a, a glass, any kind of glass. I've got a pint glass, but you can get a smaller one. And you put your tip in your piping bag, then you put this into the glass, and then you open it up around the glass. So you've got plenty of space to put your filling in, whatever it is that you're piping in your bag. So it makes it easy to put this in. You can just get a second spoon and push it in like that. This way you're not having to try and hold the bag and try and do the filling at the same time. You take it out of your glass, and you bring it up, and then you squeeze it down. And there you have your piping bag with your filling inside. So much easier. Anyway, as I said earlier, we just slightly open this so it gives you filling space. So you just squeeze your cream, however much you want in there. And there's your apple turnover with cream inside. A bit of cream on the side for decoration. Now another thing you can do to put some lovely sauce on the top is get some icing sugar. I've got a tablespoon here. You just have to guess this. I've not got an exact measurement. And then you just get your, your double cream that you didn't whip or single cream and just pour that into the icing sugar. And you stir this around and you want a nice thick consistency. If it's too thin, just add some more icing sugar. If it's too thick, just add some more cream until you get it the way you want to. And then you can just pour it on to your apple turnover. And I tell you what, this really tastes so nice. It gives it a nice decoration, but it also gives it a beautiful flavour. So there you have two beautiful apple turnovers, one rose shape and one traditional shape. And if you didn't want to do the icing, another way you could just decorate this is get some icing sugar, put it into a sieve and just sprinkle it on the top. And then again, you just get your cream and you just pipe it on and decorate it. 